All right. Uh, welcome, welcome, everybody, to... I remember, I think, session 13 for us, so... Getting somewhere. Uh, recapping last session, uh, we had... What did you guys finish up with the last session? Oh, you were, uh, that's right, at the Doc Moon's farm. And uh, dealing with that, uh, you were able to deal with it. And then uh, the... Deal with that situation. And then uh, from there, basically, you're going to cut across... You into county. Uh, shortcut, basically, through to Headstone Hill to... Just kind of pick back up on on other matters, uh, checking in on you know the safe, a rig, and, and anything else going on. So, unfortunately, as you've uh, traveled through the uh, through off the trail, uh, which I'm just realizing now that the upcoming map has a big ass trail in it. So, <laughs> but uh, going uh, through the not really plotted uh, trail towards Headstone Hill, uh, you've going along and uh, all of a sudden one of your horses uh, kind of steps into a soft part in the ground like it almost gives way and then there's eruption of buzzing just comes up from the ground and swarms around all of you. Is it is it like insects? Can we see? Can we see what it is? You can see what it is. Oh, I'm not even looking at the map. There it is. Yeah, there we go. Uh, everybody, let's see. Refresh. Oh, Benny. Refresh mine to game. Let's see if there's a... Oh. To do that. Benny spam. So, uh, just because tokens uh, with the horses is, is really weird, um, especially in the isometric, uh, but just got placeholders up top to kind of keep track of that. So you guys are currently on your horses, JT behind you with the wagon. Uh, this eruption of these um, wasp-like uh, creatures uh, come up out of the uh, earth uh, where the horse kind of has broken through its... Uh, and whatever it was, a nest or a tunnel down below, and they swarm up. Uh, they they're a good uh, two to three feet large. These uh, wasps, so they're they're uh, yeah, nothing. They're they're not your regular size wasp, that's for sure. So. And, um, yeah, they come up and go at it. So, get right into it. Okay. Roll. All right, uh, John, you are up, and uh, yeah, Reverend, you can spend a Benny to get a, a different action card. That's true. Way. Yeah. But um, just yeah, that's that's a good point, and I that's a good rule to remember. Um, but I'll I'll pass for now. Cool. Okay. Okay. You said we're still currently on our horses. Yes, you are on your horses. So, um, okay. it that doesn't affect anything in regards to ranged attacks, like with with guns, melee attacks. Uh, there, with melee, you use the lowest of riding or fighting, whichever is your lowest. That's what you would use in those attacks. Oh. Um, but it didn't look like anything because fighting doesn't apply to to range. It's shooting. So, I just assume that, you know, with melee, I would assume you have to kind of you know like run along and hit something so it makes sense in that regard yeah uh also i guess one other thing i should mention is uh the you, you guys can see that like red glow on the map that's yeah. just yeah. it's really just an area effect um template if you will uh so that's the size of the swarm 
Okay. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I guess. Um, so I feel like John would want to like get the horse away from those things. Um, makes is it possible to like ride the horse over to like this bush and then hop off? Yeah. Yeah. Say so. Okay. Yeah, so I guess for I don't know if like getting off my horse is an action or considers like a free movement. Um mounting, I don't Yeah, I'll say I'll say it's free. That's fine. Free movement like yeah, regular. It's kinda okay. Easy to all right, yeah, so John will uh, ride his horse over... Uh, I think mounting this... might go the other way. Yeah. Would be iffy, but anyway. Okay. Yeah, so John will ride uh, his horse over here uh, to this shrubbery and uh, hop off and uh, draw both of his uh, six shooters. And he's going to fire uh, two shots at the uh, the swarm, I guess. <laughs> Because it's not an individual wasp, right? It's a swarm. Right. Yeah, let me double check something. Because I think i got to figure out the size penalty okay. if there is. Because it's a swarm. I know like an individual one. Because you can have an individual of this creature. Um... Hmm. On that, that. Because, well, is what kind of attack is it piercing? Is is bullets piercing, technically? Uh, yeah, probably would be. Okay. Um, okay then. In that case, and I don't know why this doesn't apply across uh, I'll, I'll say as a swarm, there's no penalty because you're kind of shooting into the swarm. Okay. You notice, I'll, it's, I'll say that you guys all notice this other wasp uh, that is kind of hanging out there. It looks a little bit larger than the rest of them. The rest of them are, are in the smaller range between the two, uh, but then there's another one that's closer, uh, that's a little bit bigger, uh, closer to like three foot range. Oh, the one that's over by JT is actually bigger? Yes. Okay. Um, well, I guess since the swarm between me and Ed, it probably would actually be It'd be hard to shoot through a swarm and hit it and not the swarm. So I will, uh, yeah, I guess I will shoot the swarm. Where is, there's the button. Uh, did it go? The dice came out. I don't know why. An update. I didn't even see the dice. <laughs> yeah, they came out for me. Uh, maybe. Oh. What? Came out again. When well, I changed. I well, I clicked it again to see oh, if it's, it's still it's not. Show up. Show so up for me. They did, you said? Yeah. I they. See one. Um, you got your tokens selected. It shouldn't matter. And then target the enemy. I mean, that shouldn't yep. matter either, but... And you're hitting the roll button? Yeah. There's... I just rolled, I just rolled oh. a d20 for the heck of it. Hmm. I don't know if I've got, like, a bad connection to the game. Oh. <laughs> yeah, mine there. worked. There now. So I don't know why they... yours... Oh, was that you that rolled the 15? Yeah. Okay, so that showed up for me. I didn't see the dice on the screen, but it showed up in the window. Did you guys see the dice? When yeah. I rolled? Okay. Um, 
I was not looking at my screen. That's fine. That's all right. Okay. All right. I think the first one, you had a four on your first, couple first results, I remember, so. Okay. Um, so we should try to roll damage and see what happens. Yeah. Why is it not? You had a six. What's your damage? 2d6? Uh, 2d6 plus one. 11, 12. You had 12 on that. Um... Why is it not, I don't know, refresh or something? Yeah, let me, um... I'm gonna refresh as well real quick, just... I was messing around with something, but... Technical difficulties? Yeah, all right. Please, I gotta get please this all... stand by. Oh, now the now I see it. Online gaming, if you didn't have it. What's that? Yeah, that is true. <laughs> oh, there now I'm seeing stuff. Okay. Hmm. I'm not. Well, your first one, it, it's total of the dice. It was it was twelve because you had a six, a five, and then it, the one blew up and got a one. So. Um, okay. 12, 12 on the first one uh, against um, Swarm. Uh, against. Yeah. Um, so you fire your shot through the, the Swarm, and um, Uncle James, you, you know, these bullets fly past you, uh, and you kind of just. The Swarm. Nothing happens. It, the bullets fly through the swarm. It, 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 they're too tough to really nail down, given the the size and and then even the mass. And uh, unfortunately, no hit. Okay. Well, because there it worked. So a shooting roll. And then some really shitty damage. And once again, uh, if you, it, you're, if you should be on target, but you're just not hitting anything for some mm -hmm. reason. Okay. That'll be it for me. All right. The swarm is up, and it's been just buzzing around uh, loudly with the mass that's here. And uh, it, it almost has just kind of ignored the um, the bullets that have come through it right now. And the swarm is going to move over a little bit uh, to engulf uh, both uh, Reverend and Uncle James. And as it does, uh, it is going to inflict 2d4 damage to everyone in its area. Peace. Wah, wah. So I'd imagine that's going to do nothing to you guys. There's a lot of bugs. Uh -oh. Call it mildly annoying. <laughs> it was close. Yeah. What's close your for you? Uh? Five. Ugh. We got to get you some armor. I know. I guess I'm saying it. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm dead and I have dinosaur bones. So like I've got eight. Like. Man, we need to go buy some of the armor vests or whatever they have. JT is going to follow suit with, uh, like, uh, John and, and, and back up, kind of get out of the way. <laughs> Just uh, turns the cart right around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, then you see this other wasp that's significantly uh, larger than the uh, swarm and it comes over and uh, it's going to uh, it's going to come down to you Uncle James and come over and just rear up its its stinger and just go uh, go for it with an attack let's see target yeah. Uh, 
Uh, that will hit. All right, so click your token, and then you can click the little check mark, apply damage, and that'll do everything for you conveniently, which gives you a wound and shaken. Uh, and then when you do that, it should pop up a card in the chat to soak it if you want. If you click your token and then click that icon, the check mark, apply damage. You see that? No. Check the check mark with the teardrop at the bottom of the chat card. You don't see that? I see the check mark for a hit and James Cooper 9 and then the blood for it's a wound, but I don't see anywhere to apply it. Oh, really? You don't have a, option, a button for that? I wonder why it... Huh. I mean, okay. Well, never mind. I'll apply it. How about you see that card? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that must be a okay, DM thing, so... And then I can soak. If you want. Yeah, you spend a Benny, but yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll try it. Okay. Oof. All right. Unfortunately, you don't. And I need an immediate... Vigor roll, please. Oh, just my my best roll. <laughs> there you go. No, my, you have a minus on that. One? Oh, because you're because you, you have a wounded, oh, and that is oh, shit. that is not good. That is not good at all. Uh, please roll me. Uh, Roll me 2d6. That's a table. That is bad. <laughs> you get stung from this wasp and you feel just something enter into your veins this, this painful burning and then all of a sudden you the, the rest of you see uncle james slump over on his horse and fall to the ground you are knocked out from this poison for five hours okay bye bye <laughs> that is bad i Uncle James is up. You are there, uh, incapacitated. Not in the sense of having to make like a bleeding out roll. Uh, you just kind of knocked out though. Um, you're yeah, you're unconscious. And like get a bigger guess... roll or anything, or is he just down? Yeah, just down, I believe. Um, yeah, well, so don't worry. People can someone. yeah, people can help out with this. Um, Another character can make a healing roll minus strength of poison doesn't apply uh, to stop its effects. If successful, um, poison no longer has any ill effects. I, I don't think my horse would stick around though in this swarm of wasps. Yeah, it is horse. Yeah, I was gonna say too. Actually, when you're off of it, I was gonna deal them in. Um, so we're just about the end of the round, and I'll, I'll deal them into the next round. And um, and then we'll yeah see what happens. Okay. Uh, no, it says with knockout poison, victim is knocked out, incapacitated, and unconscious for X hours. I mean, I guess would you follow incapacitated rules? If it says I'm incapacitated, why? But why would it? Incapacitated means they're making like vigor rolls to not die, right? They are, yeah. So, so why would it give it a duration? Have a time, it wouldn't have a time period then. Yeah, right, why right. That's why I'm saying. Asking, but yeah, I think it's using the word incapacitated as in okay. you're incapacitated, but not like mechanic incapacitated. Not the mechanic. Yeah. yeah. Well, in a sense that you can't do anything incapacitated, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, Reverend, you are up. Okay, so assuming Uncle James's horse is not in the swarm anymore. Um, I, I mean they're they're probably about to yeah. Bolt. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, actually, they they technically act on on your turn because you're on your horse and you you know with it. So we'll say that 
yes, it it okay. took off. Then I will get down off my horse, slap it on the ass, and get it to move out. Um, and then I'm going to... Okay, just before I declare my action here, is dragging Uncle James out of the swarm... Am I at half speed? Is that an action? What's the dealio there? I would assume. Um, okay. It's carrying or dragging. We're learning, I... learning all kinds of new things tonight. Uh, yeah. Carry. Oh, oh. oh, maybe an encumbrance. Hmm. Encumber, well, if you're encumbered, that's not really encumbered though. Guys, find anything? Oh, that's um, right. Um, running difficult ground. Um, I mean, well, regardless, um, no, not regardless, because I need to know if I need to do two actions or not. And there's got to be like, um, oh, well. Grappling, grappling, nope. You guys are the same size. Just let's do this. Um, give me a, give me well, a I, strength roll when you're gonna. I don't yet. Yeah, so okay. if, if it is an action, um, then I, would, I will. Okay, as an action, I sorry, I was I was more kind of trying to see about the half movement and stuff. I would right. say it is an action. Okay. Then I'm going to... I'm going to do two actions. So it's at a minus two. To each of them, yes. To each of them. Um, do we have full power points? Yeah. Uh, you I've guys haven't... have been traveling haven't... for a, while, a little while. Oh, yeah, 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 how yeah, long they... have we been traveling? I mean, not not super long, but what's... um? It's like five an hour, right? Is it five an hour? I, I might be remembering that. Okay. What? How many are you down? I'm at. I mean, I'm down thirteen. I, we did oh. a lot. Um, at least an at least an hour between like the end of the fight okay. and then. So I'll be at twelve. I'm gonna cast healing. This is at a minus two, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to cast healing on Uncle James. Um, I'm going to tack on a plus one modifier to neutralize poison or disease. Okay. Um. So that's a total of four um, points. Yeah, four points. So here we go, trying to roll uh, faith. I didn't tack a minus two, but that's still a four. So that'll succeed. That'll succeed. So the poison is neutralized. Unless, is there a modifier for it? I don't. I remember for the point. No, was... there's not. Okay. Okay. Then yeah, because it would also apply to this roll. Right. Um, so his poison, his, that's neutralized. Now I'm going to try to drag him out of the swarm. So do I also lose the wound? I, you should, yeah. Yeah, actually, I would ask you, does it say that, um, Reverend? Because you're, you're just cause doing... It, it, 
so I'm doing I'm casting healing, which removes wounds less than an hour old. Mm -hmm. And a success removes one wound. And then the mo I'm adding another point to do a modifier, which with a successful healing roll negating any poison or disease. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't be I wouldn't think it's one or the other, so Yeah. You still be shaken, I believe, okay. but you lose your wound. I'm gonna um, roll strength James. to try to get him out of the out of the swarm. Oh boy, at a minus two. And I actually put it on this time. Ooh. All right. So I, I'm i just going to say that. Um, We've been right here trying to pull him out. Yeah. Um, trying to see if there's anything in here. There's got to be somewhere, but. Um, I was going to say, if you fail the strength roll, then, uh, it's definitely double movement. It's probably double movement anyway, but, uh, or half movement. That's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so that's like one square, like my pace, my, moved. it's, yeah, my okay. pace is, uh, my pat, my pace is actually only five. So yeah, I'm pretty slow. You already moved like what three squares to get over there? Uh, just, just uh, or one. one, two. Okay. Diagonal doesn't count extra, does it? No. Yeah, so just two. So half of half of the rest would be three round, like three rounded down to one, basically. Okay. The healing is what I really wanted to do. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, all set there then. Yeah. Oh, so if I didn't move him at all, then that's fine. I I mean, you do you have do you have a little bit to move him a little bit or not? You're saying because well, I fail I failed the strength roll. So yeah. it, I mean, it's it's up to you. I I don't know how this works. I was just gonna say that if you fail it, then you have the penalty of of half movement. So okay, so yeah, I'd be able to move him one square. Okay, so yeah, go ahead and. Oh, not that way. God damn it. Yeah, there know. we go. Okay. All right. So, so that's that's my turn then. Well, James horse is going to be there. Um, what did you do with your horse? I Rather when I got off, off? I, I smacked it on the ass. Okay. Try to get it to run away. Which it should do because it's already it already doesn't like me very much. Yeah. All right. I'm here, but all right. So added them in. We're end of the round. Let's go to the next round here. Uh, did it roll? Here we go. Yoka! Didn't give me bennies? Uh, didn't give me bennies. You don't, Un you don't get bennies. I thought everyone gets a tape. Oh, you don't. I, you, oh, okay. I got I him, see. yeah. I see. Uh, I think the enemy gets gets them. So I get, yeah, like a couple for the... Gets, get one for that. Okay. All right. Well, the uh, wasp is up. Top of the round. So he's just gonna... Yeah, he's gonna... The pace here. Yeah. Oh no! All right, he's gonna go across uh, over to John, and same thing. Very odd wasp. <laughs> it sensed the gun of fire, and better hit. All right, so uh, that is shaken for you. Uh, so I think, yes, give me a bigger roll. 
It can... Oh, it doesn't need to cause a wound. No. Nope. Oh no. There you go. Nice. Oh. Okay. Wow. Just showing off now. So you you get stung with the with the wasp stinger, and you you feel that initial burn from the poison, but you're able to resist it and shake it off. Uh, maybe a little bit, just uh, some strong willpower. Seeing Uncle James go down, that you knew you had to uh, avoid this. But the wasp annoyingly flies in front of you, buzzing. And uh, Reverend, you are up. All right. Um, hmm. That is tough. Um, I will, let's see here. I will, um, open up my Bible and uh, I say here um, Reverend opens up his Bible and I'm like I kind of thought we were done with this plague of locust thing and then he will slam it closed, and I'm gonna cast stun on the uh, on the on the wasp warrior. Okay. So I need to spend two points. Getting dangerously low. That's not. Uh, it's not like a, a ranged attack, is it? Um, it is range of smarts. That's the distance, but you don't have to make it. Okay. All right, because 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 the creature's small, there'd be a penalty to like a a, a shooting roll. Oh no! Okay, it's, no, You're it's good. just uh, it, it's yeah. just a creature. Oh good. Um, I do need to make the roll though. So, roll faith. I mean, for fuck's oh, sake! Oh no, spending... you can't. Oh, I can't. Can I? Can I have that back? Yeah. That is so stupid. God damn it. Um. So, what? Okay, what were you casting again? Uh, I was casting stun. And uh, what's the full? So stun shocks the target with a concussive force, sound, light, magical energy, or whatever. Uh, a successful casting means the victim must make a vigor roll at minus two with a raise on the arcane skill roll, or be stunned, which is one of the. Uh, one of the uh, uh, conditions. That's the word I was looking for. Okay. Um, do you have a crit fail for blessed? That's what I was for, looking for. Oh. Ours, um, um, for blessed. Would be under your... Arcane background. I don't have it all copied over. Okay. Uh, let me let me, let me me look that up really quick. And now, are you... Because I'm reading the Benny... <laughs> rules um uh under edges is it deadlands bless is deadlands, yeah right yeah okay i got it right here um so I, are you are we 100 percent sure you can't re-roll or you can't benny that crit, crit fails yeah um let's throw in the I, so I guess I'm, cause I'm reading, I guess, slightly different. Maybe it's, just, maybe it's just an interpretation. I thought these had... I thought they all had... There was a thing where, like, if you crit fail, and maybe it's just certain... certain because you There is one for Huckster. Right? I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Yeah, I don't see one. page 55 i don't see it here under huckster either though but oh, well, like on this backlash a critical failure on a spellcaster roll causes huckster a level of fatigue and all currently active powers are terminated so it may say backlash under your oh edge. i found it backlash a critical failure on a faith roll causes the blessed a level of fatigue and all currently power current currently active powers are terminated. Okay, so 
Uh, Level of fatigue. Yeah, I don't Very think you can. Very cool and fun. Oh, you can mark that on your sheet. Yep, so... I can. And I don't know what that does, though. It does a thing, I'm sure. Surely. Uh, actually, I think it's like it's minus to every roll. 100. Fatigue victim subtracts one from all trait rolls. One more level, you'll go to exhaustion. How okay. how do I get rid of that? Um, yeah, that's pretty tough, actually. Um, unless otherwise specified, uh, it pro improves one level per hour. Um, awesome. <laughs> if if treatment is possible. Food, water, um, etc., depending on the source of fatigue, uh, and right. a healing roll is made. You improve. Oh wait, sorry, that is. That's only. Oh, that's from like... incapacitated. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah, pretty much. Well. Maybe there's like a higher level power that. Yeah, there probably something like that would help out, but. Okay. Uh. Yeah, so that's uh, no fun. Anything else? I, I'll fucking run away, I guess. Okay. How do I measure again? Hold control and then... Got it. Yeah. Yep, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, we're going to go to a Reverend's Horse. And a Reverend's Horse is going to use its full movement, which is pace of 12, and also going to do its uh, free action to run. And so I think... Pace. If I click on pace, okay, one extra. So we'll see uh, what happens with the horsey. John Cooper. Oh, all right. Um, I guess uh, this uh, wasp here in front of me. Uh, I'm gonna try to uh, gonna try to shoot it. Okay. Do you have close quarters? No, because it's parry. Oh, that's right. And you have, I think, because of its size, its size is the penalty to your shot. So it's small. So you have minus two. Um, I think Go it's ahead. minus two against. Yeah. Do I need to select that, or is it going to know? I... Uh, well, let's find out. Okay. Like it, uh... uh I don't think not. it did. Uh -huh. so but... Be, uh, seven. Yeah, that's... Uh, and then... That just hits. Okay. Beat it, beat it. Okay. Very nice. Uh, what just happened there? Oh, wait, wait, it did soak it? I did... The Joker. I forgot I had a Joker, so that gave me plus two on that roll to, to soak, uh -oh. so... I was like, wait, what? Okay, so, like, remove the thing. All right, anything else? Um, yeah, I'm gonna shoot it again with my other gun. Okay. Gonna 
Try to soak it away. Okay, so I need Put to in that minus two. two, yeah. Ah, shoot. I rolled, I rolled damage on accident, so let me roll the shot for it, I guess. Uh, well, I mean, what's your... What's your and dice? Complete, is it the same dice? No, it's completely oh, okay. different right. dice. Right. So. so I guess I'll roll my shot. Feel good. Uh, that was the eight, right? Uh, yeah, that was with a minus two, so that should hit. Okay, and then the 13? Yeah, that was okay. the damage. I just, I just missed the... Oh, yeah, no problem. And sure, why not? Give it a try. <laughs> it's gonna have to be a damn good roll, though. And for two runes, able to soak one, so that doesn't help. It still is dead. Alrighty. Anything else, John? Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, use my pace and go ahead and start moving, <laughs> moving away from that swarm. Okay. Should be my full six, I guess. All right, Uncle James's horse is going to start taking off. An additional three. Okay. And and that brings us to uh, JT, who is uh, just hanging out, keeping his uh, a wagon corralled and whatnot. Uh, let's see. Any points in? Eh, not many. What has, uh, do you guys know what his trappings tend to be for burst? Has he used burst? Uh, I think oh, it's no, like electrical lightning, lightning out of his Electrical, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um. But... Zapper. Yeah, a fire would definitely help, but all right. Um, bursts, burst causes more. The only oh, is a cone template starting in? In okay. So remind me how this works. Going to use bursts. But first, he needs to make that weird science roll, right? Yep. Roll gonna be weird science. Is a fail. Uh, we'll re-roll with a Benny. It did not matter. So DM's luck. Fortunately. Okay, so oh, he loses. Should be two power points, right? Or is it? it only took one away for some reason. Does it still cost the points of the power, right? Fail. Mm -hmm. It costs part of it. Is it only part of it? I thought. Okay, then maybe that's what happened. So, all right. Okay. All right, Uncle James, you're up. All right, so I am going to. I'm awake. Yes. Oh, sorry. Yes. Um, shake and roll. Uh, you, yeah, free uh, spirit roll. You are shaking. All right. No longer shaking. Sweet. All right. I'm going to get up, which does cost two. Squares of movement. That pace six, so I have four more. Um. Go to here. Um. Oh, no. Why are you zooming? I'm trying to rotate. Then I will. Monday, I will cast uh, Amawemi, the uh, 
runes on my pistol kind of blow up a little bit. And let's do that. That's your initial so roll for the casting, right? Yep. Okay. And then I will take a single shot with uh, my pistol at the at the swarm. Okay. And since I got a raise, I get two effects instead of just one. Um, so I will do explosive to make it a small blast template. Nice. And I will do Sacramento Surprise to do fire. Okay, so it's a f fire, like fire damage type, essentially, and then... Small blast. Yeah. So, I think when I did the blast before, I think it was I roll the attack. Uh, it. I don't know how it interacts with a swarm being a blast template. Actually... I mean, it would still kind of hit. Like it's, it's, yeah. You go, just go ahead and, and roll it, and then, um, okay. yeah. So I mean, just kind of throw that down, and then. Nice. All right, so that's the attack roll. Definitely hits. Um, so go ahead and roll raise damage. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna Benny that. Okay. That was worth it. All right. Yeah. Do you see uh, those that might be looking? You see Uncle James uh, crawl up and out uh, of his uh, poisonous attack, and uh, you immediately just pull up your um, pistol, right? Yeah, pistol, and uh, these runes on the side of it begin to glow, and this blast fires out from it into the middle of the swarm and erupts into a ball of flame. And immediately, the... Can I apply that? Oh, because you didn't target it, maybe? Oh. It's our, which is fine. Um, good to now know I that you have targeted. to do that, but... What's that? Now I have it targeted. I don't know if that will let you do it. I don't know because the chat card um, is what okay. I'm looking for to apply damage. You. It's fine. Um, so yeah, you drop the swarm. It definitely that at. Okay. Anything else from you? That is it. All right. That swarm is out. Uh, we are end. Yeah, that's end of combat. Unless you guys, well, no wild cards, so. Uh, oh, I guess, yeah, that's fine. Come out of this and then uh, check uh, the horses. Okay, so you guys come out of uh, this encounter with the uh, wasps and um, are able to pull away from that uh but you have two horses currently on the run uh, i've taken off uh, and are, are definitely gaining some traction uh, away from you all oh yeah so which uh which horses are on the run uh reverend and uncle james's horses are on the run if I, I guess I guess if John I, would uh, go over to his horse he left uh, by the bush. Hopefully, he didn't run off, and uh, just say, uh, "Well, time to put that uh, growing up on a ranch back uh, back in the day to good work here, and uh, try to chase down one of the horses."
All right. Uh, so I was gonna do. Um, I was thinking about doing a chase for this, but I think we'll do. Especially with JT not here yet. Uh, well, but so we'll just do a quick encounter, uh, which is essentially just a simple, um, you know, basically a single roll uh, to see how that works out. Could I deal with the devil to cast speed on his horse to give him like a bonus to that? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, the way in, uh, quick encounters work, I believe, is you do, I do believe you set up the modifier. Yeah, you, you know, you guys kind of put a little bit of planning such as that, uh, James, and um, and then there'd be a modifier to that. What does, um, what does speed specifically do? Because this is going to be a modifier to his roll, so speed, like it's not going to modify his... Essentially, it's going to be a riding roll. Doubles the target's movement. Okay. And... Uh, yeah, yeah, doubles the target's movement. Okay. And it ignores the minus two running penalty. Which... So we will say, uh, with a success, uh, I'll give you a... I'll give you a plus two to the roll. If you get a raise on your casting, it will be a plus four. But of course, you first have to uh, get it done. Oh, yeah. So it says with the raise, movement is also... Oh, no, that's for slow. Never mind. All right, Revan, you could, if you wanted... I mean, JT has a wagon, so you can hop I'll, in there. Yeah, I'll, I'll hop there. All right, we'll, we'll use the macro for real this time. Yeah. Ooh, that's gonna be some extra cards. You got a Joker there? Yep. All right, so you get your Benny oh, back. Damn. Can't even tell what he cards. I know they're so bad. I have to try and reset like standard ones or something. I think you might have three of a kind, or maybe well, just a pair. I can't. Well, yeah, Joker... I can't see that shit. Joker's wild. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I would have three of. The... Well, actually, wait. Damn. If I had like a jack or a six, I could have a straight. Oh, nice. How many points do you need? Um. For that. Let's see. Can't be too many for speed. Just two. So I should Okay, yeah, should you'll be fine. Three of a kind is I think three point three or well, maybe even more than that. Six points, oh sweet. Yep. Cool. Um and then... were you down to two bennies? Yeah. Okay. Alright. So you got uh that, so you get and you can add yeah, you can add the left of the excess points to this roll as well. So you'll have... That's one of the options you can do. Oh, because I remember one time I was short points, so I had to... And that takes it off, yeah. But if you have extra points, you can add it to the roll or replenish your points as well, I believe. Um, so, but I'll just if you only... Yeah, I mean, that gives you... That's a success automatically. So four extra points, okay. So... So, so that did you put the modifier in? No, I didn't. Okay, I that's didn't. fine. So 10. Uh, so that's a raise. Uh, yeah, alrighty. So that worked out very well. Are you... Did you hop up with... Uh, are you hopping on the horse with no, John? I or just... I don't want to slow his horse down. Okay. I was going to, you know, kind of... His dice. Give him a little smack. What the heck? What is... Just for some reason, shot. Uh, yeah, you just made two shots for some weird reason. That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, you could hop up into the wagon. The wagon has room for I think four passengers. Um, 
Yeah, another one. It, it's like it keeps. That, that was I accidentally clicked. Okay. All right. So, uh, John, as you uh, you haul up onto your horse and uh, get ready to take off and try and catch um, at least one of them. Uh, so go ahead and give me a riding roll plus four. Which, I mean, I guess really that is a success. So... Yeah, you are you are able to catch up with uh, one of the horses, and uh, and reel it in. So they uh, went after uh, James's horse was a little bit um, a little bit further than Reverend's. Got a little bit better of its run. So okay. So sorry, did you ask me which one I was going after? Yeah. Or, um, or just if you go after the one that's closer, but. Well, I guess my thought is the one that's further, maybe I'll go after, anticipate maybe the rest of the guys in the wagon can catch up to the okay. one that was closer. Okay. Yeah, uh, we'll say, so you you can go, you catch up to the one, uh, reel that one in, and then uh, we'll have JT give us a riding roll, which he does not have a riding so does he have driving um no okay i was like maybe he picked up that new and had a wagon or something and either yeah got the six though <laughs> all right uh so well, make I'm some trying. good ground uh pulls up i will say that i uh, catches up to the horse it it was spooked it was kind of running away but somehow jt jt has two horses with the wagon so there's a couple there's some extra power to really get that thing going um and i forget what this i think it has pretty good speed uh, if not the same speed at least so it can catch up uh i will say now uh Revan or james you guys can make a single roll um oh God. to grab this horse um is there like a jumping roll um, the athletics. I, I athletics, have yeah. Another idea for deal with the devil. Yeah, if you want to do something. Eventually, that's gonna bite you in the ass. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Eventually. Eventually. Yeah. Am I? So I'm close enough. I'm like within ten squares, right? Yes. If I'm able to like jump. Okay. Say that. Um, PowerPoint's special. What the heck does that mean? I want to cast uh, okay. Beast Friend. Say that again. I want to cast Beast Friend. Okay. And the cost cat to cast equal to the sum of their size. So is... large is plus two. Wait. Size two. Okay, so it would be two points then? Yes. How I would interpret it. Oh, well, I, no. Actually, ignore that. Because I'm going to... Oh, I need to do... Never mind. I need to do the... Ah. Huh. Well, if this first, I'll probably Benny that. Because that... Mm. Is your macro not work this time? It did. Do one more. Okay. There we go. See two, two fours. Pair. Yep. Pair of fours. Three, four, pair of... You got three, four, five. So. Or no, you got three, four, can... six. Yeah. You got two pair there. Very close to now. having a. Seven. God, it's, really, it's really hard to read the little dots. Yeah. That'll do. And you got plus one on the roll at least. Yep. Okay, then that's a success, right? Oh, if you go, yeah, because uh, your original roll. I actually no. did that. Oh, I is, it, is that a spellcasting roll? That's what you make, yeah. right? You're right. Yeah, because yeah. plus one. Yep, it would be a success. So what does that do? Um. 
allows to speak and guide the actions of nature's beast the cost cast success means the creatures obey some commands okay um stop running come they back attack bonus <laughs> and endanger their lives to the master yeah you uh you so, you rush out and again you kind of call on your uh on the Manitou to, to help you out in the situation and it grants you this power and you just you, you find yourself uh, gathering a connection to the beast that's running alongside the wagon once it uh, calms down I'll you know reach out and grab the reins and get on it and lead it back uh, back to the group okay and I'm going to give you a Benny just for a couple uh, good uses of deal with the devil. Successful there. So good stuff. You are able to grab the other horse. Uh, so you now, everyone back in tow. Uh, Reverend and James, you can battle up on your respective rides. Continue back on uh, the trail to Easton Hill. Maybe taking a little bit of time. Uh, I think everyone is uh, no wounds or anything to deal with. Spend some time just uh, you know get some points uh, back as you need, but eventually finding yourselves back in Easton Hill. Maybe uh, next time we just stick to the road. I think that might be a good idea. That was uh, JT's bright idea. Let's save some time. Let's cut through the uh, untamed wilderness like we're on some kind of goddamn deadline. That safe ain't going anywhere. You know... Or next time we just run from the, uh, the bugs. <laughs> Not stick around. <laughs> you know, well, with, the thing, with the things I've seen, if we get there and that safe is gone... And you said that safe ain't going nowhere. I don't the know. Th the safe was built into the ground. They got to pick up the whole damn mountain and move we with it. We fought dinosaurs a couple days ago. Don't talk to me about impossible things. <laughs> yeah, I suppose a uh, man in your position must uh, believe quite the uh, impossible things from time to time. Uh, well, I am dead, so yeah, things don't really surprise me anymore. <laughs> what uh, time of day is it at this point? Is it just like afternoon? So plenty of time to still ride out to the mine? I'd say, or... Yeah, I'd say like late afternoon now because you guys, uh, I think like Dr. Moons was like, was around lunchtime, if not a little after, I think you had went from yeah went from uh harder to yuri and then yuri out to dr moons mm -hmm. yeah i i'd say at this point you're yeah you're you're mid to late afternoon okay well i guess we can uh head out to that safe if we want I think that's not too far outside of town, if I remember right. By horse. Yeah, it wasn't too. Make sure to see what's in there. All right, I suppose we should do that, and then, uh, yeah, see what the hell's in this thing. Okay, heading out up to the uh, mining plots. And we'll prospect your Bob's place. Yeah. yeah. So you uh, head off that way, going up uh, along the trail to the the Terrytown bench, retracing your tracks from before. Uh, coming up upon you, see the uh, you know mechanical mule uh, machine that was sitting outside of this uh, kind of dugout cave there that was there before, where Bob so wonderfully greeted you last time. 
And uh, but as you approach, you know he he at least uh, isn't anywhere initially to be seen. And uh, no, there's there's actually not really anybody else around. Kind of the empty plot. Uh, unmount and head into the uh, cave, and the safe is there where you left it, waiting for uh, waiting for it to be opened. Well, let's punch it in. Need what the uh, that key and then the combination, right? Both. Yeah. Yep. Okay. L twenty three. R forty four. Left six, right thirty, left fifteen. Throwing in the combination, spinning the dial, and whatnot, and then turning the key as well. The satisfying click. As the safe does unlock, and you're able to open up the heavy, heavy door of of the safe. Inside, you find a few different items. Uh, so the top half of the note, um of the one that you guys have there I just shared, that was in there. Um, you find... Another page with a bunch of notes. I think I need to share these with you guys. You have them. All players are observer. In uh, in the journal entries, um, under handouts, do you guys see the two that I shared? I just see the note combination. Okay. Yeah, same here. Oh, yeah, because you already... Yep, all right. Okay, now you have the notes. Uh, so you have some notes uh, in there. You also find a, a telegraph from uh, Governor William Hale. I will... I know. I'll put this stuff all on Discord as well, too. Um, Buckles. Stop. The ongoing lack of reply is unacceptable. Stop. Failure to comply puts our agreement in jeopardy. Stop. Respond at your earliest opportunity. Stop. From the office of Governor Hale. Our you, agreement. You also find uh, some Wasatch Rail certificates worth $4,500. Uh, there is, so there's an, a little black book, an agent's book, and has the notes written in it. The, so that's what the notes were in, a little book. You have the telegraph. Uh, there is also $2,000 in U.S. script. Hey, time to buy some armor. And um, a five-pound sack of ghost rock uh, worth five hundred dollars. Missing five percent of that. Uh, so that would be math. Uh, four hundred. Yeah, yeah four hundred seventy-five dollars worth. So you know, I because I, yeah, I think it is like a hundred a hundred a pound. Mm -hmm. So. You said the rail certificates were the Wasatch rail certificates were worth forty five thousand. Forty five hundred. Hundred. That is different. Yes. Yes. Yeah. There's um, at the bottom of the certificate, you can see the blue stamp. It says twenty shares, so it's twenty times the five hundred. Which, no, that's not right. Right. That's not math. Nope. That would 25. be. That'd be a hundred thousand. Ten thousand. Um <laughs> chair twenty e right. I don't Oh wait, no. Five hundred shares, twenty I can't read what it says, but Oh. The book says forty five hundred. We'll figure that out. Alright. Cause we have the note that talks about the Nine. Nine shares. 
or nine. Someone is sabotaging. That's a different. That's Denver. That's Denver Pacific, I guess. Though, so Washaw is a different railroad company. Yeah, almost certain. H I. Can you Hellstrom. put that one in Discord so I can actually zoom in on it? Hellstrom? Yeah. That's what we decided that H I stood for was Hellstrom Industries or something. Yeah, J T figured that one out. Didn't we'll snatch up their lines if they get bad enough. Note to self: get some stock in case this goes their way. There you go. And then went back to the dance hall to speak with Clovis again, but he was in his into his cups and even less coherent than last time. At one point, he didn't realize I was watching him, and he looked at himself in the mirror as if seeing his own face for the first time. A distorted, high-pitched cry wriggled out of his throat, not like any sound I've ever heard before. This country is rampant. This country is rampant with outlaws, the most wanted. Ride in three major gangs: Ghost Steel, Sage Dragons, Little Rock Irregulars, respectively. We have cattle, banks, and rolling. What does that say? Rolling stock? Rolling stock? Uh, which, which paragraph are you reading? I'm I'm on the notes, uh, the top right one. And what? Rolling Respect stock? Yeah, rolling stock. After cattle, it? cattle, banks, and rolling stock. Or, or maybe it's railing? No. R -A, that's an O. Oh, rolling stock? Yeah. Yeah, rolling stock. Like, um, probably sheep. Stuff like oh, that. Oh, okay. Like yeah. Stock, rolling. Yeah, just From moving. the investigation I've done, separating portfolios allows them to get along pretty well and share the same territory. I've heard that if anyone gets too close, they just make a run for the Sioux Nations and so things quiet down. If anyone gets too close, they just make a run for the Sioux Nations and tell things to fight. What was it to supply Emporium or suspicious of me? I couldn't name the exact tool I needed. All my questions about the mine disaster, too strong. Damn it, George, keep your composure. It's true that Heaston might have been involved somehow, as horrible as it is to imagine, but I can't let them catch me out before I've unraveled it. Reminder to look into Ned Little at the land claims office. He's tight with Houston. There's a secret there's a secret society in Houston Hill, but I can't figure out what they're up to or who's behind it, whoever they are. I don't think Houston's part of it. Interesting. Well, that, is that no? Because it wouldn't be it wasn't wouldn't be us. It'd be because he was aware of us or our, oh, our society. Yeah, he's part of it. Yeah, you know. he's not. Is he part of it or is he? Oh, well, no, but he's aware of it, at least. He's yeah. aware of it, yeah. Yeah, because... And then he had yeah. an agreement with the mate, with the governor? So it seems. An agreement. Jeopardize... What in the Sam hell? Well, we already knew that... Uh, the land claims guy was tied with Easton. Yeah, we knew that. Feel it. Well, well, so he's got quite a bit of money here, and from the way it sounds, he was trying to. Gather up some stock, maybe to. Kind of sounds like he was trying to disappear. Yeah, be interesting to see if we can find out what that uh, agreement he had with the uh, governor's office was about. I don't know if the governor will be forthcoming with it. Well, we just uh, send a reply. Signed, uh, Mr. Buckles. Governor ain't going to know the difference. Comes from a telegraph. That's true. That's not a bad idea. But... Uh, I say we uh, take this information and uh, get out of here before anybody else shows up. And let's get back, uh, get back to the house and okay, move what the rock. Do with, and do we want to leave the money here? The a lot of money, the cash, or yeah. the stock. Well, no, the cash. I'm thinking you were onto something when you mentioned uh, needing some armor. Maybe we go. Uh, all right. 
Because it's uh, how much? It was how much in cash? Two thousand. Two thousand yeah. in cash. Yeah. We could leave. We can leave the rail certificates and the ghost rock. Well, JT might want the ghost rock himself for That's weird fair. science stuff. So doesn't, he, doesn't he use that, Todd, to some degree? Ghost yeah. Rock? Yep. Okay, yeah, so we probably take the Ghost Rock. But yeah, we can leave the... Uh, I mean, you got 66 pounds of it back at the house, but... Well... I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> we have to decide what to do with that. I think we should probably destroy that thing, but... <laughs> we have to go at least move it. But yeah, yeah. say so take the Ghost Rock. We can leave the uh, the stock shares in here for now and relock it back up. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. We take his journal too. Yeah. Yeah, take the book. The notes. Okay, so you were what were you were leaving something behind? Just stock shares. Okay. Alright. Locking that up. Yep. Locking uh, back up. Combination and key safe on you. Cause, this, cause, Cause we were correct in the assumption the stock the safe is not movable, right? It's actually built yeah. into the Okay, that's what I thought. There's yeah. like rods that like punctured oh, out. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Into yeah. The walls, right. Yeah. Um, give me notice checks as well. We guys are in around here. Sure. Interesting. Reverend, were you keep a note of all the money and stuff we took. Um. Uh, God damn. In Discord too. Todd put it. In. Yeah, oh, in the okay. handouts yeah, channel. Okay. Yeah, that works. I do, I do have note of it down though. I do. Wow, gang, we are killing it. Oh, did I? Yeah. Seven. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Okay. Uh, so, uh, the Coopers. Uh, you both notice, uh, Uncle James, you for sure, you look around and, and, you know, at first you saw a lot of like footprints and things, um, here and just kind of maybe at first is like, okay, you know, it's a, it's a active area, potentially, uh, there's bound to traffic, but you quickly kind of realize that something's off about this and you actually see signs of struggle. Uh, just in the way that some of the markings are and whatnot, you... You really think that there was a little bit of a struggle here um and and just kind of looking at like the different types of of uh prints and whatnot you know th there's some uh there's some markings here footprints that don't match uh wouldn't match normal mining gear be more of uh some other type of boots as well Decent number of those uh, in addition to to everything else. Hmm. Now, it does look like there was a bit of a struggle here, and can't say for certain, but given the history of uh, what's been going on, maybe them Houston boys came for Bob. Could be. You said there were marks that didn't look like mining tools? Uh, no, boots. Boots, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, look like basically, let, we'll just say cowboy boots versus, uh, like you know, work boots. work boots, yeah. Fair, okay. Hmm. Yeah, might have been. Although, gangs are around too, so there's no... Definitive thing, but or definitive answer, but we know no, they're denying these plots. No blood or anything like that. Uh, no. Well, I no. guess I didn't see shit. Yeah, you so. didn't see anything, but uh, no, there wasn't really, really anything of that. I forgot. Did when we confronted the uh, Easton son, Bob was with us, right? But did they see him? I guess. Uh, look at that other mining camp, right? That's yeah. when you guys, yeah, because Bob would have been, um, yeah, he would have, I think, came out and, yeah. Yeah. Cause that's my concern. Like, if they saw him with us, they may have come for him after, you know, like, and no one else was around. And he had said that, uh, Bob had said yeah. anyway that, uh, you know, they've been shaking him down 
Anyways. Oh. Yeah. Do we see like any um I guess we just see signs of a struggle, but we don't see like blood or You're anything right. obvious like that. Okay. There's a couple things like upturned that, you know, seem odd. Mm -hmm. So and yeah. And then um there weren't any other plots real close by. It was like the next closest thing that uh group we found that we kind of helped out that first time. Uh there might be, but yeah, that's going to be the other, you know, main camp at least. Okay. Yeah, so I guess I don't know if we want to ride over there quick and see if they're still there, if they're okay, and then I'll be asked too if anybody saw or heard anything about what might have happened. Just yeah, before we go, uh, the Q's and he's going to be Tyree involved. and, uh, yeah. Myra? Yeah, so I guess. Or no, if, Jenny. Yeah, if there's no objections to that, I guess we'd, uh, Make a quick ride out there to see Tyree, Jenny, Candy, and Noon. You guys good with that? Just to yep. see? Yeah, okay, so yeah. We'll uh, jump back on our horses and uh, ride over to that camp. Okay. So you make your way uh, towards that camp, and it's a... Um... That's a good half mile or so uh, that you remember to get to that other camp, and uh, you, you you come upon that, and there you do find uh, Tyree there, um, and then his wife as well, kind of just doing their their daily uh, duties around camp as so, you arrive. So, so uh, how did their folks? Uh... Hopefully you, uh, you all remember us, but, uh... Ah, yes, of course. Welcome, uh, Mr. Uh, Cooper. It's, uh, good to see you all. Uh, how are things? Well, things are, uh, things are going fine for us, but, uh, we were looking for, for Bob back down at his, uh, claim. Didn't, uh, didn't find him. Have you, uh, have you all seen him or heard anything recently down that way? No, no, not specifically. Um, you know, I mean, we don't we don't tend to see him every day, so I can't say that the length of time is is uh, at a level that's alarming, at least. But uh, is there is there reason for you to think that it's something other than him just? And I guess if he's not at his plot, but he's uh, he he runs into town quite a bit. Uh, you know, every every few days, grab supplies and things. Uh, you didn't catch them in town by chance? No, it looked like uh, there'd been maybe a bit of a scuffle in the, uh, I don't know if it's a cave or, or the camp or whatever that yeah. actually was, but uh, a couple things uh, had been flipped over and uh, just something didn't seem quite right, like he just left on his own. Well, it's not, uh, not too much like him. Um, and, and Jenny kind of chimes in. Says, uh, I'm sure it's those darn Heastons. They just don't know when to quit. Always messing around with us. I think uh, Bob really got to him this last time. If it was them, would they have taken him back to town? Do you think? No saying uh, with them. Of course, they, uh, they're going to uphold somewhat of a reputation, uh, at least back in town. They don't want, their father certainly isn't going to want them uh, putting a stain on his own reputation, that is. Uh, heaven is. Kids running around, taking people out and what have you. But I think uh, some of those rules, guidelines, if you will, probably soften up quite a bit when you get uh, out uh, out on the fringes. That's right, because um, 
Yeah, because wasn't Houston trying to basically buy up all the claims? Yeah, the last time you guys were here, it was the scuffle was basically Houston was trying to shake down the other miners and and uh, just basically saying, you know, we're not going to sell to you, you know, piss off. And, mm -hmm. and the Houston boys are just trying to, yeah, basically just that, just scare people into giving giving up their their plots. Okay. I think so. Obviously, Buckles had half the claim. With him being missing, whatever happened to his half of the claim? Do we? I can't remember if that ever came up or not. Uh, I don't remember. Um, I mean, I assume it's just kind of sitting there. You know, it's. I don't know that there's like a, you know, a beneficiary um, if, yeah. if something happens. So. Okay. Well, suppose. I uh, guess we should head back into town then and see if we can uh, see what maybe happened to Bob here. I'm just wondering if uh, maybe we don't leave uh, leave everything back at the claim like we we thought, just in case uh, they did convince old Bob to sell one way or the other. Now somebody else owns that particular claim. Might be hard for us to get back to it. Do you think we should maybe head back and just check for any uh, I don't know tracks around that? Yeah, we, can, we should probably have done that before we left. But. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Let's go back to the the claim. Let's get the rest of the stuff out of that safe just in case it's uh, no longer ours to come back to. Tyree so, uh, just says, well, uh, let me know uh, if you track him down. Uh, I don't want to have to worry about our old Bob, so... Hopefully, uh, it is nothing more than just, uh, you know, you, you hadn't catch them, caught them when you wanted to, but. Otherwise, it was good to see you folks again. Yeah, you as well. Take care. So, uh, saddling back up, head back down the bench towards, uh, Bob and, and uh, Buckles' plots. You know, it, just a short time has passed, so nothing any different. Okay. Yeah, let's look around for some tracks and signs of where they've gone. Okay, uh, give me a survival roll. Oh, uh... I don't have that. That's going to be an unskilled attempt. <laughs> All right. So close. John. Wait, oh, I, I, it doesn't matter. But oh. my, my level of fatigue's gone, right? Uh, well, yes, we'll say by now. Did I say, what, an you hour? Said yeah, you said it's an hour. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Yep. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. How, how? Yeah. So we traveled an hour, right? Yeah. I'll say by now you're good. Yeah. Okay. I just want to see how many power points. Oh, we got points back. as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Was uh? Did you have that on your sheet? And was that affecting your rolls? I uh, I did, but oh, it I just matter. yep. Right, 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 right. But yeah, it was on there. Okay, it's cool. Good to know that it does that though. But okay. Uh, yeah, John, you, I mean, you see there, there's definitely a lot of, uh, you know, tracks and things here. Um, you know, you see some that kind of wander out from the, the cave entrance, uh, in, in following what you saw before a little bit, but unfortunately they get to a point where they just kind of go off into the, um, you know, into the trails and they get lost in in uh you know just the mix of everything else i guess we would at least tell what direction they were going before they like i guess ended like if they're heading back towards town or away from town yeah um
it looks like they um they went uh opposite of town there's, there's just an initial initial little bit uh, looks like they might go opposite of town hmm. uh <clears throat> maybe it'll tell like how uh how fresh those tracks might be um not really no it's a little bit of uh yeah, they're there, but it, yeah, it's tough to tell. Okay. Well, I don't know if we want to head off this direction a little bit and see if we uh, pick up on any trail or notice anything before we go back into town. See if he's taken off this way, it might be worth uh, going for a little bit at least. Check things out. Yeah, um, it is getting late though, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, you're probably hitting, you yeah. know, dinner time. Was, I mean, it was what, late afternoon when we arrived and then... In the town, yeah, so... You're probably... Half, half mile by horse is probably... Well, 15 and minutes. We, we have no idea to... We have no, no way to figure out how long ago he was taken... We don't right. know if he's been missing for, you know, a couple hours or a day or more. Right. Oh, oh. Wait a second. <laughs> Got a power for that there, uh, Uncle James? Baby. Got one of them, uh, cards ears. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if it would work. Mm. No, it's it's. I was thinking object reading, but I don't think that would actually work. Yeah, probably. It's from the name. I'd say probably not. Yeah, unless we like found something that seemed like he had dropped it. Like I don't think it would do anything. It's more like uh, telemetry type, right? Oh, not telemetry from uh, Star Wars. Not telemetry. I'm not familiar. Telemetry. <laughs> is... What's the psychometry? Yeah, when you yeah when yeah. you touch the thing and it yep. and you yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well then, uh, heading back into town. Yeah, I guess if you guys don't want to, I guess risk being out out in the evening, we can well head back. We got JT's got camping supplies in the wagon. If we want to, try well, we to, need to we don't need to Actually, camp out. I was just well, saying. Like, if I'm we, just saying if we do get caught that far, I just can, wanted to see if we want to, you know, head the direct <laughs> head the direction those uh, tracks were going for like a half mile or so, just to see if they pick back up or if we notice anything. It might actually work, Todd. And I think I got one Benny left. Let's see. You do? You do. Got one okay. left. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna. So it says success allows the character to see events that occurred within 10 yards up to about five years past. Obviously, I'm not trying to look that far back, but within 10 yards may. Oh, so you can like stand in the. So it's where like... was it that it seemed like the, the scuffle was happening? Was it? It was around the safe, right? Yeah, uh, more more just in the cave itself, not necessarily right near the safe, but okay. yeah. Um, I guess. If there is there any object like near the entrance of of the cave? I uh, you see 
Um, I, I'll say that you do see uh, a glove, a single glove, like it uh, from your previous uh, notice rule. Okay. See a glove that kind of got tossed aside. We're gonna, we're gonna try it. One, one more deal. Just this last one. No more after that. Well, you know, like for today. Right, yeah, for today. I can stop anytime I want to. <sighs> oh, so close. I only need two. Okay, good. Add a plus three to that. I forget. Do I do that? Because it's not the modifiers. Just, yeah. Uh, plus two. Click the thing. Just do a trait roll modifier plus two plus one. Check the boxes and then oh, roll it down. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Above the. I did not understand that. Okay. I always hide mine because I don't like seeing it, and then I forget about using it. All right, success, raise. I don't think anything with a raise, right? Um, oh wait, a raise. Okay, a raise just increases time and distance. So, okay. Like 20 yards and I can... Yeah. So, as you hold this glove in your hand, you, your mind goes into these, this almost like a vision, uh, and you see um, it starts, and it kind of starts uh, like a fast rewind uh, of the glove falling out from the back of uh, Bill's back pocket. He had a, the gloves in his back pocket, and I, one of them fell out in, in the struggle, and it kind of quickly rewinds to that point. Uh, and then it goes into real time and you can hear and see the struggles of uh, a good number of other individuals that are harassing him. And, 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 and I mean, at this point, they would have him um, entangled, uh, wrapped up uh, in, in pulling him out of the cave. Um, from there, I... You know, continuing backwards in time, uh, it goes back to where there is, uh, from the physical struggle of Bob trying to hold off a few people, uh, he, it then um, goes to more of just a verbal shouting match. So that's, yeah. And then from there, uh, it would be the people approaching um, and then it kind of just would continue on if you want to continue looking just to where Bob is, is just doing things around the plot and elsewise. Okay, yeah, that's all I wanted to just see if I could, yeah, gain more detail on that struggle and it sounds like it worked, so. Um, I guess you're able to tell, like, who the people were or the voices or anything like that, or I'm not sure how that power yeah, what works. I recognize. Yeah, I think like voices. kind of the yeah, the voice I think I imagine if it's like when it's in his pocket, it's kind of muffled, but maybe when it after it falls out. Right. Um these and here's the visions of the past it took. Okay. Yeah, so give me a I, 
I think a, a notice check. Yeah, give me a notice check. That'll do. There's there's a good number of voices. You pick out, um, you know, almost uh, four to six uh, individuals. You think are are here, um, and and you could see the kind of the abstract shapes of of these individuals as well. In some points in the visions. Um, and you listen to the voices, uh, a lot of just kind of grunts and things at, at the end, but, um, you know, in the shouting match, uh, you definitely hear Bob, of course, and then there is another voice that does, uh, that is pretty distinct, uh, and that of Max Heaston, who you have, uh, ran into before. I imagine I, uh... You know, after I see, like, and hear what I want to, I, you know, kind of snap back out of it. Um, eyes refocus and... You all right there, Uncle James? Yeah, I, uh... Seems, uh... May have been right about, uh... Being the Houston boys now. Don't know what they did with them, but seemed to have dragged them off, so... Um, if we got any kind of any kind of lead that uh, um, you think you can follow, John. We may want to maybe head in that direction. <clears throat> well, so the only lead I've got is the uh, these tracks here that head off away from town. If we want to follow them a bit. I don't know that they would because I can't imagine they would tie up Bob and just drag him back into town with all the people seeing it. I know Heaston runs the place, but that seems a little uh, I guess ballsy even uh, for Heaston. Yeah, especially considering what uh, Tyree said about, you know, him wanting to keep up appearances and exactly. So I reputation and whatnot. If there are any objections, I guess I'd say let's follow the that direction where these trails were at least for a little bit and uh, see what we might be able to pick up. Yeah, let's go. Is that uh, little vision there yours give you any kind of indication how far ago, how long ago it happened? I think the fast forward and rewind is pretty fast, so I don't know how like pinpoint I can get with it. I think so it would it be a matter of having something to reference so like was it daylight out dark out when it happened right like that would be um yeah so it was uh i'd say um either uh dusk or dawn low low light in that sense um is what you get a little bit from you were in the cave but there was a little bit of light that kind of Mm -hmm. But yeah, beyond that, there's no other reference to say, okay, you know, you got a calendar on the wall that you saw or something right, like that, right. but <laughs> clock, yeah. Well, it may have been this morning, it may have been yesterday evening. We haven't, we were here pretty recently, right? I think it's been a couple days, at least okay. because... Because the yeah. last time you were here was was to check the safe, and then you went out in Spooky Hollow, um, yeah, did that, right. and then you basically from there went into town, and then been doing all this other stuff. So, oh, yeah. well, it's been a good couple days, two, three days, to be honest. Okay. Okay. Hopefully, it was more recent. We can. find out what happened to him it'd be i'd hate to have another uh, another person go missing that we're trying to find out yeah well all right i guess let's uh let's follow these trails at least for a little bit and see what uh what we got yeah i agree all right so you do saddle up 
Uh, and there is, uh, appropriately named the Ghost Rock Trail. Uh, it does lead along the Terrytown Bench, um, just a little bit outside uh, of the claim. And, uh, you know, you, you get the little bit of kind of direction that you had, uh, John, in their, in their trail went that way along the, the ridge there that then eventually um, leads out and around uh, through some of the mountains. So, what's, uh, what's your thoughts here? Um, so that last part again, so the, the trail ends, then it, it runs into a... It doesn't really end, it just kind of goes, it le it's starting to go towards the mountains. Okay. Um, I guess we're able to, I guess, pick up any kind of trail at all or disturbance, I don't know, whatever, like tracking skills people would use to look for things. Um, there, there's definitely marks on the trail uh, that initially are going to be just general traffic. Mm -hmm. um, beyond that... Uh, I would say, give me, give me a notice check. The... like no map here reference <laughs> um so you see um you guys go along the trail a little bit and you start kind of getting uh climbing in through some of the mountains uh, the surrounding area um you keep an eye out for any signs of people going off trail or you know just something along the trail that for some reason sets you off that Maybe you're on to something. Mm -hmm. There's not much of that. But you you think you notice in the distance, uh, up in the mountains, um, a faint, because it's still, you know, it's still, you know, supper time. The well, sun is still out, definitely. But uh, you think you catch a little bit of plume of, of smoke. Off in the distance, up in the mountains. Definitely off trail, but up in the mountains. Like a campfire kind of size smoke. Potentially, or yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I would uh, point that out to the rest of the group. Duh. Well, that looks pretty promising. Yeah. You know, not sure who it might be, though. I don't know if it's. Uh, Houston, or I don't know if there's uh, anybody else that resides in these parts. Because you said it's it's off the trail, but up the like up the mountain. Yeah, it's like in into the mountains. Yeah. Okay. I guess how hard is it going to be to get to where that fire's at? I challenging definitely i mean it's it's not something you don't think you'd easily be able to you know ride it on your horses you're gonna have to either leave them behind or see if they can be led along um mm -hmm. but uh you know, definitely something by foot that is still not going to be the easiest but doable just from initial glance at least mm-hmm I mean, this is our best lead overall. Yeah. Seems odd that they would, you know, a group of four or five guys would drag Bob up the mountainside, but... <laughs> well, I mean, if they're trying to get away from prying eyes, it might be their best bet. Yeah, so, yeah, I guess let's... uh yeah, start heading that way, but uh, keep an eye out for anything that might be be up ahead. Uh, 
All right, so uh, you guys continue on, um, and you said you're going up into the mountain. Sorry. Yeah, I guess we'll start okay. heading heading whatever kind of path leads us towards. Yeah, that, whatever uh, the best fire, way to yeah. get up there. Okay. All right. So you guys get ready to. Um, you're leaving horses behind, bringing them along. The wagon's definitely not getting up, obviously. Yeah. So that's actually that's probably gonna be left behind for sure. Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, I, mean, I guess we probably about have to leave the horses behind, right? I guess we don't see their horses though. <laughs> There's like not a pile of horses like nope. down here. Um. That gives me more reason to believe it might not be them, but, uh, yeah, I guess we'll lead them. Lead the horses. Yeah. Okay. Or do we, yeah, no, we'll lead the horses. That's fine. All right. You, you lead, you said, not leave. Yeah. I was saying lead, like yeah. lead them okay. along. Yep. All right. That's okay. what I said. All right. So at the base of the, the mountains, uh, the wagon uh, left behind, uh, of course, uh, you guys uh, scout about or your pen potential best way to get up towards this plume of smoke that you see in the distance. And hoping that uh, you can get to it along with your mounts. Well, that's where we'll end here. All right. Pick up next Good. time as you guys uh, ascend the... Mountains of Uinta County and see what you come upon. Yeehaw. All Reverend's right. stomach grumbles a little bit, uh, needing some raw meat. Oh, yeah. I think you guys that had breakfast true. at least, right? Yeah. Well, we'll find some roadkill or something. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Alrighty, cool. Good All stuff. Right. Uh yeah, we'll see you guys in a couple weeks to yep. keep going from here. So Sounds see y'all later. Good see stuff. Guys. Yep. See you guys. Bye. Bye.